Okay then, so first part of our warm up, we're gonna do our raise and we're gonna do um, a little bit of a, a thinking type of raise today. All right, we've done this before. So let's see. Right, so you need to be on your feet. We're gonna do seven types of star jumps. All right, seven types of star jumps. Now, we're gonna go through it slowly to start with and then we'll speed it up and see if we can remember. So we have done this before and it goes as simple as this, all right? <laughs> I say as simple, it is quite difficult, even I uh, have to think about it. So, are we ready? Apart, together, together, apart, together, apart, together. Whoa, there, we got there. So, let's try again. So, seven in total, seven different star jumps. Your arms are always moving up and down. All right, and it'll be your legs that are either going apart or together. All right, so that's an easier way of thinking about it. So your arms will always go up or they'll always go down. All right, wherever you're at, and your legs will always do either apart or together. All right, so let's try it again. Right, apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. So you finish off in a star. Right, let's try it again a little bit quicker, all right? So, apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. Ooh, there, go there, right, and again. Right, let's see if we can go any quicker. Okay, Ooh, right, apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. Do we manage it? We're getting confused already, right. And again, let's see if we can speed it up one more time. Okay. Uh, apart, together, together, apart. Together, together, apart. Whew, even I'm getting confused there, right. We're gonna do it again. This time, no messing up. Are we ready? Okay. Apart, together, together, apart. Oh, I've lost it, I've lost it. Let's start again, let's start again. Are we ready? Okay. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. Rah, nailed it. Got there. Did you manage it? Got to think. Right. Okay. A little bit of a, again, different one. All right, we're going to go. Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Hip, uh, shoulders, hips, clap, clap. Okay. So, are we ready? Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Shoulders, hips, clap, clap. Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Shoulders, hips, clap, clap. That's simple. All right, are we ready? We're gonna do it quick though. Okay. Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Shoulders, hips, clap, clap. Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Shoulders, hips, clap, clap. Hips, shoulders, clap, clap. Shoulders, hips, clap, clap. Oh, right. Next one. Right, we need a tennis balls to this one. So grab your ball, grab your tennis ball. Right, we all got them. Okay, so to start with, all right, we're gonna do something similar to what we did um, a few weeks ago. All right, what you've got to do is drop the ball, one leg up, and then you've got to catch it under your opposite leg, all right? So like this, so you're gonna drop the ball and then you've gotta catch it. Drop the ball oh, and then catch it. All right, drop the ball and catch it. So you're using the same arm to drop it and the same arm to catch it. Okay, let's go. Five on each leg. Let's see if you can uh, get five in a row. Once you've done five and you've caught five, change legs, go five on the other. Hey, change of two, three, four, five. We've got a few wobbly bodies there, I can see. Nice. Have we got any better? We've got a few more uh, with the tennis ball coming up. Right, so hopefully now our brains are... Uh, Nice and awake, all right, a little bit of a, a different 
mobilization there. All right, sorry, heart rate. Now we're gonna go into our mobilization. All right, again, if you've got a band, then fantastic. Don't worry if you don't have a band, I'll give you an alternative. So to start with, we're gonna lie flat on the floor. We're gonna start as always from our upper body and then work our way down. So we're gonna start with shoulders. All right, gonna lie flat on the floor, arms at 90 degrees. And we're just gonna go on 90, 90, internal and then external rotations. So you're going forwards, only go as far as your mobility allows and then go back again. So let's go in total 10, nice and slowly. Uh, we should be laid on the floor. Six. Seven, make sure your arms are in line with your shoulders. Eight. Nine. And 10. Fantastic. Right. If you've got a band, then grab your band. So next one, we're going to do with the band. If you don't have a band, don't worry, you can do this without, but do it on the floor instead. All right, so I'll show you to start with, we're gonna go a T, Y, and I. All right, so we have done this before in uh, part of the main set, we're gonna do it as part of the warm up today. So you're going up into a T position, then into a Y position, and then into an I position. Always go into in line with your shoulders, so T, Y and then I. All right, those with bands, I want you to carry on with that. You're gonna go in total eight times in each position. If you've not got a band, then don't worry, you can do it on the floor, pretty much exactly the same. All right, so you're gonna start off in your T position and you're just going to raise and go T, do eight in that position, then do eight in a Y and then do eight in an I. All right, so just a slightly different variation. All right, so you're going T, Y, and I eight times. Hopefully, you guys have already started. All right, remember you're only going up to in line with your shoulders, no higher. T, e, Y, and then an I. If you haven't got bands yet, then do start to get them. Bands with the handles are. Obviously a lot better, you can do these type of exercises. Oh, my doorbell's just rang. Give me one second, I just need to answer the doorbell very quickly. Now I need a key. Oh, the joys of a live workout, eh? And that's what happens when my uh, my wife has to look after uh, Louis and there's no one else to look after him. Right, where are we up to? So we're now on to back and core. So thread the needle to start with. All right, now we've done this plenty of times before. All right, so you're going to be in tabletop position. All right, and you're just going to rotate underneath. Slide your hand along the floor and then back up and over, just following your hand as you do each part of the movement. So follow it as you slide under, and then follow it as you come over. All right, eight in each position. I'm up to number three. All right, do them slow, do them controlled. Make sure that the movement is done right. Follow it as far as you can. All right, don't stop until you can't reach any further. Yeah, that's eight for me. Now we're always doing these mobilization exercises on every session, not only just to warm up, but to give you guys hopefully the tools that you need so when you get back into your swimming, you know these warm-up routines inside out. You should know them by now. 
All right, we're on to week eight now. We should hopefully have learnt a number of these exercises. All right, and when we do get back into it, it'd be nice to see you all starting off your training sessions with 15 minutes of land training before every session and just getting yourselves warmed up and mobilized with these type of exercises. Right, next one, a little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna go. This one's a bit of an activation one as well as a mobility one. I'm gonna use my handles because I can't put my wrists on the floor. All right, so you guys can do it in a flat plank position, but we're gonna start off in a plank press up position. And all you're going to do is reach first of all, your knee up to your elbow and then swap. Bring your knee up to your elbow and swap. Dead simple to start with, just holding a plank. So there's a little bit of core activation because you're activating your core when you're in that press up position. And then you're also mobilizing your trunk and your legs and your hips. All right. So once we've done a few on the same leg to the same el elbow, I then want you to swap and bring your knee oh. to your opposite elbow. So you bring your knee up to opposite elbow. So you're gonna have to rotate a little bit now. All right, this is where the trunk rotation comes in as well. And relax, good. Okay. Next one, hamstring raises. Now, I'm gonna give you a slight variation if you've got a band. So, it's only a very slight variation. This time, instead of holding behind your leg, you can hold the band, wrap the band around the foot like that. All right, you've got your opposite leg straight with your toe pointing up. Make sure your toe is always pointing up, and then you're just using the band to help with that extension. All right, if you don't have a band, then just hold back of your leg here and reach up. Okay, so let's go eight on each leg. See if you can get that full extension. That's it, make sure you're fully extending up and then change legs. Okay, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. Okay, next one. I'm just going to mute whoever was uh, not muted there. Someone wasn't muted. I think you've muted yourself, have you? Oh, no, it's, yeah. All right, so next one. So this one is going to be a little bit of a hip one as well. All right, so it's gonna be a bit of a hip one and rotation one at the same time. Now again, if you've got handles, you can use them, but if not, press up position. So you're gonna start off, press up position. All right, you're going to basically do a Spider-Man lunge. So you're going to bring your leg up to the outside of your hand. So if you go right leg, you go to the right side of your hand, and then you're going to rotate your body upwards, following your hand with your eyes, and then rotate back. And then swap over, opposite leg, and then rotate. If you're really struggling to do that in a plank position, you can go onto your knees, all right, and do the same thing, all right. So from there, just lunge up and then rotate, follow that hand up and then down, okay? Ideally, you wanna be doing it in a full extended plank position. Bring your leg up and then rotate. Okay, I want you to go uh, just four on each side, all right? Eight in total, four on each side, just alternating which side you do.
Okay, right. Once you've done eight, we're going to finish off with just two more. All right, so the first one. All right. Again, it's uh, it's a leg one, but it's also working the full body. All right. So you're going to go into a really deep squat position to start with. All right. You're going to make sure you sit yourself. So feet just around about hip width apart. Feet turn slightly outwards. Remember, when we're squatting, we've got to keep our knees behind our toes. We don't want to be coming forwards onto them. You've got to be back on your heel. And you're going to go down into a really deep squat, a little bit like the Ironman squat we do. And then this time, you're going to raise one hand up, then the other hand up, and then press up. All right? Now, the idea is that when you bring your hands up, you're trying to get them up in a straight line, in line with your shoulders, and then press up using both knees. Okay? So, down we go. Nice and deep. Touch the floor. See how deep you can get. One arm up. Other arm up and then push straight up. All right, make sure when you're doing that push up, you're going straight up and not forwards. Okay, let's go again. Arm up, arm up, and push up. Again, down nice and deep. Arm up, arm up, and push. I'm gonna do five in total. Arm up, arm up, and push. I've got two more. One, two, and up. And again, nice and deep. One, two, and up. There we go. Right. Fantastic. And then the last one we're going to do. So we're going to do a hip hinge into streamline. We've done these before. All right. Now, again, if you've got someone with you or you've got a parent, just get them to watch and see whether you keep your back straight when you do it. All right. Now, the idea is that you're going to start similar sort of position with your legs, and then you're going to stick out your bum and then lower down, keeping your back as flat as you can. So you've got to resist the urge to curl it like this. We don't want to see anyone like this. You've got to go the opposite way. Keep that back straight. You might need to bend your knees slightly if you've got tight hamstrings. All right. And then from there, we're just going to go into a streamline position and then back so out into streamline and back out into streamline and back all right i want you to do that five times and once you've done that slowly bring yourself back up okay right i want you to go one more time and this time I'm just going to have a look and see whether you have nice straight backs. Can we make sure that um, you do it side on so I can see? Let's have a look. Uh, Susanna, just get that back. That's better. That's it. So the lower back has got to be, well, it's got to be straight. You've got to try and resist that urge to curl it. You've got to curl it the opposite way. Uh, Isla, you just start straighten out that lower back a bit more. That's there you go. That's better. Good. Excellent. Good. These are a lot better than they were uh, a few weeks ago. Good, Emma. That's excellent. Well done. Great stuff. Right then. So we're going to go into the next bit. So all of this, different types of functional movements. So functional movement is just learning to move in different ways. It's learning how to balance, learning how to coordinate your body, learning how to control it in different, different ways. So we're going to start off with our animal movements that we did uh, last week. All right. So those that weren't with us, we're going to start off with three different types of animal movement. All right. The first one is going to be our chicken walk. So you're going to start off in a crouch position, hands behind your head, and all you're going to do is walk small steps forwards in a crouch position to the end of your mat, and then you're going to walk back. Now, if like me, your knees are a little bit sore, all right, don't go as low, just do it in a slightly less crouch position, all right? Perhaps we want to just warm up your knees if you are feeling it a little bit. 
All right, perhaps do a few knee circles if you do feel that they are sore. If not, then fine. All right. So let's go. I want you to go in total three times to the end of your mat and then backwards. All right, so it's three there and backs in total. Okay, so small steps. Get a little bit lower than me if you can. All right, that's just my knees, my old age getting to the better of me. And then back again. Small steps. Keep that head up. Good, two more times. I'm gonna have a watch, let's see. Two more times in total, so three altogether. Whatever your distance is, the end of your mat, if you've not got a mat, just pick a little distance that you go there and back in. Fantastic. Good, should be starting to feel that burn a little bit in the legs. Excellent. Good, so next one is going to be a, um, well, we're actually gonna do a slightly different one. This one is going to be a bear crawl. All right, now we didn't do this one the other day. All right, so bear crawl is very simple. It's similar to what we did with the gorilla walk, but instead of the gorilla walk where your hips were really high, you're going to bend your knees. So you're in this position here. All right, so your knees are just off the floor and you're going to be on your hands and you're just going to go forwards. I'm gonna do it on these because of my wrist. All right, but we're just gonna go forwards. All right, just off the floor with your knees. Trying to go opposite leg and opposite arm, and then backwards. All right, so you're going forwards, and then backwards. And again, you can do it three times. So pick your, pick your spot, all right. However far your distance is, three times in total. Off you go. Another. Try and keep your knees close to the floor. Don't let your hips rise. And then time it so you're going opposite arm and opposite leg moving at the same time. One more. I'm gonna just have a quick watch last ones. Good, keep your back as flat as you can. Don't let that back curl. Good. Right, final one. Similar position. All right, this time we're doing our leopard crawl. So you're gonna have your hands flat on the floor, your forearms flat on the floor. Same sort of thing. Knees just come up and then you're going to go forward. This time a little bit lower to the floor. All right, so you're on your forearms and then backwards. Again, going opposite arm, opposite leg. Three times. Not started, let's get going. I'm gonna do two and then have a watch. Try and stay as low as you can to the floor on this one. Stay low, keep them forearms on the floor. There's some hips rising there, keep them hips down. Knees shouldn't be touching the floor. Knees have got to stay off the floor. Okay, right, good. Okay, we're gonna go into some balance work now. So, everybody up. So, to start with, we're gonna stand on one leg. We've done this one before. You're gonna reach up, I know you can't see me fully there, but you're gonna reach up with your opposite arm to the leg that's on the floor. And then you're going to reach down and you're just going to touch the back of your ankle and then back up again. All right, so it's gonna reach down, touch the back of your ankle, and then back up again. Nice and simple. There's a little bit of rotation involved, but also balance, control of that leg, 
on the floor. I want you to do five on one leg and then five on the other. Now we've done this before. We're going to progress it today. We're going to do it a little bit different in a second. Once you've done five, swap it over. See if you can rotate round, touch the back of your ankle. If you're really struggling for balance, then just touch the front of your ankle. Let's do it slowly. Good. Right. Next one. So this time you need your band. Now, again, if you don't have a band, don't worry. All right. Now, what we're going to do to start with, I'll explain. If you've not got a band, I'll explain what you can do in seconds. All right. So you're going to start off on one leg. All right. This time you're going to reach down. And your back leg is going to go out behind you. And you're going to reach down and touch your opposite hands to the front of your foot. And then you're going to reach up as tall as you can. So you've got the band now. It's just going to make you a little bit more unstable. If you've not got a band, then you can do it with a weight. You can do it with a drinks bottle. All right. As long as you've got a little bit of weight there just to make it unstable so you're going to go opposite arm to opposite foot okay opposite arm to opposite foot so five on each side all right just real good balance control all right if you're finding it quite easy make the band a bit tighter just going down just touch and then extend up. See if you can get your back leg straight each time. And pulling up with a straight arm when you come up, lowering down with a straight arm when you go down. Thank you, that tension on the band for as long as you can. Swap it over once you've done five. Just good to learn how to control your body and move your body in different ways. Okay, fantastic. I think most of you have finished there. If you ever do want to go a few more repetitions, you find that you're finishing quite quickly, do a few more, that's fine. Right, so a little bit of coordination. Now, this is where you need your tennis ball. All right, so. We're going to start off. Now, you do need a, a wall. I'm going to use my sofa for this. All right. Hopefully, the, it'll work, but it did before. But you, it is probably better on a wall if you've got a wall. All right. Now, just watch to start with, and then you can go and find a, a place to do it. All right. Now, to start with, we are going to do it in a press up position. All right. So, if you've got Handles then fine. If not, don't worry, you can do it on your hands. All right. And all you're going to do is get the ball and you're just going to throw it and catch it against either the sofa or against the wall and you hold in that plank position. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is go 20 catches with your right hand and then 20 catches with your left hand. All right, let's see if you can catch each one. Now, what I don't want to see when you do this is your hips rocking. Don't let them twist to the side. You've got to try and hold that position as straight as you can. 
All right, so go and find a wall or go and find a surface that you can do it against. We're gonna have a quick look and see how we get started on this one. So 20 on one side. 20 on the other. Don't let them hips rise. Keep that plank position straight. Make sure your hips are straight as well. Don't let them turn to the side. If you're finding it's really hard to keep them straight, just bring your legs a little bit wider so you've got a bigger surface area. Good, some good catches there. Good, 20 on each side. You finished already, Edward? You done 20 on each? Yeah, okay. Excellent. Elliot's got a new uh, teammate there. <laughs> Very good. Right. Once you've done it, just come and sit up. I can see we're still waiting for a couple. That's fine. Do it in your own time. There's no rush. Okay, right. Next one, we're going to need a tennis ball again. Now, you're going to need a little bit of room for this one. And you're going to have to be very, very careful. If you've got lots of things around you, make sure that you move them out of the way. And if you've got a low ceiling, you're going to have to be really careful. All right. Make sure there's no lights above you. All right. Now, what we're going to do is a little bit of a challenge. All right. But what you're going to do is throw the ball up, spin around as quick as you can and see if you can catch the ball. All right. Now, that might sound really easy. It's actually not as easy as it sounds. All right. Now, I'm going to take the mats away because I don't want to trip on it. All right. What you've got to do. So throw it up and then catch it once you've spun around, okay? Throw it up and catch it, all right? And then if you're getting good on one side, do it the other way. All right, let's see if we can uh, aim for around five catches on one side, five on the other. I want you to keep going on this one until you've, uh, well, not until you've uh, done it, but let's just keep going until I say, let's see how many we can do, all right? I've done two so far, I'm quite impressed with that. Quite hard to throw it up straight and then spin. It certainly gets harder as you get a bit more dizzy. Again, be careful. If you've got a low ceiling, you've got to be really careful, okay? There's no done about it. You've got to keep going. If you've done it once, keep it going. Right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a watch. Let's have a look. Are you feeling like it's quite easy, then catch it in one hand rather than two hands. Laura looks like she's quite good at this. So one-handed catches of it's uh, quite easy. And then change the direction. Do it the opposite way as well. Good, Matthew. Nice. The parents are going to be wondering what's going on. Good. Keep it going. Keep going, Susanna. Susanna. Last few. I haven't said stop yet. I'm just having a watch to see how everyone's getting on. A few balls going everywhere. All right. Very good. That will do. Right. Excellent. Okay, so last one. All right, now, this one is a little bit more. <laughs> My head is hurting, so I stopped early, okay. So last one is another balanced one, all right? But it also involves your core as well, all right? Now, you do need the bands. Again, if you don't have a band, I'll show you what you need to do. Now, you do need to have something that you can tie your band to, all right? So it could be a door handle, it could be your banister, uh, it could be know, the leg of a, uh, a chair, as long as it's stable. I'm going to try and use Louis' plaything and see whether it works. All right, what you're going to do, all right, is tie the band 
to it, like so. In fact, you can actually do it like this, all right? So you don't need to tie it like that. You can actually hold it like that. So what you're going to do, all right, is stand on one leg, and then all you're going to do is take the band in different directions. And the idea is that the more random the direction, the better, because it really makes you stabilize your core and work your core in order to balance on one leg, all right? So the idea is you're trying to resist that movement. So the more erratic the, the movement, the more you pull, the more you go in different directions, you can change arms, take it behind you, all right? The idea is that you're trying to balance on that leg. Then change legs, and we'll do it on the other. So we'll go right leg to start with. Give everyone a, a second to find their spot. Just tie the band around. Make sure it's tight. So when you're in this position here, it's got to be already tight. Okay, so you're already having to resist. All right, and you're already having to stable just by standing on one leg like that. If it's loose, well, you're just standing on one leg. All right, so it's got to be tight to start with. And then let's see. Now, if you don't have a band, you can use your weight, all right? Ideally, it's better when it's a bit heavier, all right? And all you're gonna do, stand on one leg, and you're going to go from one side across to the other in a rainbow shape, like this. And then you can take it around and around, all right? Over in a rainbow shape, and then around, like that. All right, and just using the weight just to offset your balance and help you uh, help you balance in different ways. So it is better with bands. If you've got a slightly heavier weight, then fine, that's not a problem. All right, I'm gonna do it on my opposite leg now, using the bands. All right, I'll go this way. All right, so just spend about 30 seconds on each side. Ugh. Just really work at resisting that movement, taking it off in different directions, working that balance, but working your core stability as well. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's see how everyone's getting on. All right, come on, we should all be on it still. Keep the band tight, especially when it is in a. Um, when you're in the middle, make sure that band stays tight. It is better when the band is at the side rather than from below. So you can tie something around about hip height, that is better. Again, if you've got a weight or a bottle, then just go over in a semicircle, in a rainbow shape, and then around. If you're finding that really easy, maybe take it under your legs and then take it behind you just to see if you can offset the balance. Good. Make sure you've changed sides now if you've not already. Okay, fantastic. Right, superb. Right, last minute or so, we're going to finish off with our ankle flexibility like we always do on a Tuesday. So get yourselves on your mats. So today we're going to go sitting on our ankles. All right, what we need to do, if you've got something that you can raise off the floor, then I want you to put your ankles on that. If you've not, then all you're going to do is raise your knees off the floor. Okay. So we're going to hold it today. We're actually going to start progressing this a little bit more. All right, we're going to hold this now for 30 seconds. All right, and then we're going to relax, and then we're going to go another 30 seconds, and then relax, and then another 30 seconds. So we're doing it three times in total. All right, so in fact, well, if you're finding it's really difficult after 30 seconds, then just bring it down to around about 20 seconds. Just go to where your limit is. Don't feel like you have to go 30 if you're really finding it painful. Right, are we ready? Okay, off we go. Let's 
15. That's 30, right. Just relax, just bring your ankles back the opposite way. All right, let's give them a little bit of a, a stretch. All right, maybe go a few circles with them. Make sure that they're not as tight. Let's set circles in different directions, go in and out. Okay, we're going to go another 30. Are we ready? Off we go. Try and keep your back straight. Fifteen. That's thirty. Okay. Again, just relax. Just give them a little bit of a wiggle. A few circles. This is the sort of thing that you should be doing every day. This is shouldn't be just a one-off thing. If you want to improve your kick and you want to be like some of the greats, you need to have a fantastic ankle flexibility. All right, we're ready. Last 30 seconds. Up you go. Fifteen. Perfect. There we go. All right. Give them a little shake off again. Fantastic. Right, guys. That is it for today. Well done. And I will see you on Thursday. Don't forget to get your 2.6 challenges done. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.